Hello everybody, in this video I want to introduce you to Design AI. This used to be called Styler before. It is an all-in-one AI design platform which has several features to cover all your design needs. To get started, you can just click start for free and continue with your Google account. Or if you have a business, you can sign up with your work email as well. Once you're inside, you're greeted with all the AI tools it has to offer, such as image to image, text to image, local edits, insert objects, and several others. You can also see the tools grouped in categories such as game development, portrait photography, jewelry design, interior decoration, product design, print on demand, and image restoration. For today's video, I'm gonna start with this feature called Colorize Photo. This allows you to take an old picture which might have faded colors and colorize it based on a bunch of different styles. Now, I don't have any old photos that I need colorization myself, so I'm gonna go to pexels.com and find some old photos that would be suitable for this feature. I'm gonna start by adding the picture of this lady in front of a windmill and then clear off the last prompt that was auto-generated. I'm gonna keep all the parameters the same and click generate. I kept my style as realistic and here are my four colorized generations. Of these, I think I like the last one the most, so I'm gonna click download on it. And while downloading, you can choose the file type and upscale level. I'm gonna keep the file type as a JPG and the upscale as 1X and click download. Now let me try something interesting. I'm gonna colorize a couple of old photos and then generate videos from them. So I'm gonna get started with this picture of this lady who looks like Marilyn Monroe at the style back to 1950s. I'm gonna clear out the auto-generated prompt from the last image. And if I click auto prompt again, you're gonna see design actually converts the image into text and you're gonna see in words what it sees. Now I'm gonna keep all the parameters the same and click generate. And here we have four images of that old photo colorized in the style of 1950s. I think I like this one the most, so I'm gonna click download and this time I'm gonna upscale it to 3x so I can have some details when I convert it into a video. Now from the homepage, click any image tool so you can access the image to video tool on the left. Here you have a place to add the image to video prompt, some imagination parameters, and the duration is five or 10 seconds. I'm gonna add the colorized old photo that I just created to the image to video tool. For the prompt, I'm gonna use hair waving in the wind so I can get this old movie style Marilyn Monroe effect. After setting the duration as 10 seconds, I'm gonna click generate. So here is the image we started with, then I colorized it to 50 style, and here is the video. Wow, so this is the 10 second video of that colorized image with the hair waving in the wind, and I'm pretty happy with the result. All right, now I'm gonna colorize another photo and you'll soon see why. So I'm gonna clear out the auto prompt, find the style as 1950s to keep it consistent. So here we have the 1950s style. I'm gonna use this old photo of this lady drinking some tea. I'm gonna make that selection and I'm gonna keep all the parameters the same and now click generate. It's going to give me four different images of this old photo colorized in the 1950s format. I think they all came out pretty great, but I'm going to focus on the ones where they have the fingers the most proper. And I think the first one has everything mostly functioning. So I'm going to click download, make the upscale as 3x and click upscale. It's gonna take a few seconds as well. So we started with this image and we came up with this upscaled image of that lady. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the image to video tool and this time start with the first colorized photo and end with the second colorized photo. So I'm gonna set the start frame as the first upscaled image. Remember this lady who looked like Marilyn Monroe. So I'm gonna make that selection and this time select the end frame turn the toggle on 
Here, I can add a second image. And this is why I created that second image of that lady drinking some tea. I'm gonna go ahead and add her. Prompt I'm using for this is family vacation. So I'm expecting those two images come out as a 1950s style family vacation. So I'm gonna click generate. And as a reminder, here are the images I started with. This is the second one. And this is the first one. And here is a video of them on the family vacation together. Wow, I really like how the second lady is smiling while she's drinking the tea. But I do think there's a remnant of the second image that needs to be cropped out. All right, let me change the prompt a little bit and add family vacation on the beach. I'm gonna keep the rest of the parameters the same, maybe reduce the imagination just a little bit and click generate. Now, just a reminder that I'm actually fast forwarding the part where it generates the video. This usually takes five to 10 minutes that you have to wait every time. So here is what we started with. We have these two images that are colorized. Here is a video of them on a family vacation. And here is the video of them on the beach. Well, actually there's no them anymore because it seems like this time the AI created one single character instead of two different characters and combined them all into a transition, which I like much better actually. And now you know how the end frame works. Those are only two of the numerous features design has to offer. You can get started for free and then upgrade to a beginner or creator level. If you choose an annual plan, you get 20% off, which is a much better option. You can find the link to sign up in the description and first comment below. I would like to thank Design AI for sponsoring this video. I hope you got some value from it. And if you did, make sure to click like and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.